In this video, I will show you how to simulate the electric field around a shielded strip line. We will only use free software to make the simulation. I already prepared this SkyCAD layout. I will switch through the layers so you can draw them yourself as well. Please place the PCB so that the center of the PCB is in the center of the axis. This is so we have an easier time later to import the 3D model of the layout. Let's now import the 3D model of this layout into FreeCAD. Paste this script into the Python console of FreeCAD and hit enter. In order for this to work, you need to have the step-up add-on installed in FreeCAD. Now mark the copper layer in the tree view and type Ctrl plus E to export the 3D model of the copper layer as step file. Now open Salome to create the mesh out of the step file. Go to the geometry editor via this button, go to File, Import, Step and choose the step file that we just created. Confirm the pop-up, zoom into the part by clicking these two buttons. The simulation will need a boundary, so we will create a sphere which is slightly bigger than our PCB. Now we will use the translate function to move the sphere up a bit. You can rotate the view with this button. We only want to move the model, so disable this option. After you place the sphere correctly, click apply and close. Now we want to cut out the PCB from the sphere. Click on operations, boolean, cut. Now select the copper model and click apply and close. Mark the cut in the tree view, change to the mesh module with this button, make sure the cut is marked, create a new mesh, click here, here, here and here, set the window to the same settings as I did and then click OK and apply and close. Now click the compute button, the computation must complete without any error messages. If you have an error message, your mesh size was too coarse and most of the times you simply have to make the mesh finer. Close the success window, make sure that the mesh is marked, click on the mesh and on this button to split the surface of the mesh. Select the same settings as I did, one group for each body should have been created. Mark the mesh again and click file, export, unfile. Save it wherever you like. Open Elmer GUI, load the mesh file that we just created. Let's add an electrostatics equation. For this, follow my steps. Now set the material to air. Simply follow my steps again. Set the reference temperature to 293 degrees. Now apply the infinity boundary condition to the surface of the sphere. And now set the trace to our capacitance body too. Now set the ground to capacitance body 1 by following my steps again. Run the simulation. A pop-up will ask you to save the project. The simulation should take a few minutes to complete. After it's finished, click Run and start Elmer with Decay. The first step is to check if our simulation did run correctly. 
My way of doing this is by viewing the surface potential. The lower value should be very close to 0 volts and the upper value close to 1 volts. If that's not the case, most of the times you just have to make the mesh finer. If you want to be completely sure that the simulation is correct, you have to do the calculation on paper. Set the limits to 0 and 1 and click OK. After this step, the sphere and ground should be colored in blue and the trace should be red. If you end up having some other color tones, your simulation has problems. Try to reduce the mesh size or increase the size of the sphere. If nothing helps, watch my other videos. Now disable the surface view and add an ISO surface view. We want to view the absolute electric field value. Let's now overlay the simulation results over our step model. For this open para view and import the simulation result. Click on the ISO surface button. Add range values. I will leave the range settings but increase the number of surfaces to 100. You can set the opacity here. Let's set the color range based on our data range. If that's not enough, we can add a custom range with this button. Now import the copper step file. The step file is stored in the unit millimeters, so scale it down to 0 0.001. Set the copper color to orange. Make it slightly transparent by changing its opacity. Reopen FreeCAD and export the PCB as step file. Import it into ParaView. Scale it to 0 0.001. Set the PCB color to green. And make it slightly transparent with the opacity button. We are now done with this tutorial. You can now play around with the settings by yourself. I will spend the last 30 seconds of this video by playing around with the display settings myself as well.